Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I make burgers on my George Foreman Evolve. I've gotten questions about showing different things that I make. So I'm now going to show the burgers. I'm going to make chicken, so I'll show that next. And everything that I make on here, I'll just do short little videos so you guys can see the different things that you can make with this. So I already put it um, set so it's preheating to 350, 3 minutes. I have it slanted down, the little tray here. These are pre-made burgers that I just seasoned with some um, adobo and sazon, which is just Spanish seasoning that I season everything with. And we'll see how they go. I am going to put them for seven minutes and see how that comes out. And then I'll decide from there and I'll show you guys. Okay, so this time I put three in. I cleaned, I scraped it all off because I put some cheese to melt, but I closed it and I walked away and it melted like super quickly. But it, they were still pretty good. So I'm not going to do that this time, but I cleaned it off really quickly with this thing. It all came right off and now I'm going to put three on them. See how that works. And put seven minutes in. Seven minutes seemed to be okay. And then I put the cheese for a few seconds and it was starting to melt. And then I messed up and walked away. But you can still melt your cheese on there and clean it off for the next one. So let's see how the next one okay, So out. here are the burgers. I've started putting cheese I wanted to show you. I like them a little more well done. So seven minutes they were like still juicy and I put it a little bit more so it's all up to your liking but seven minutes makes them cooked and then for the cheese literally just a few seconds or minutes like just watch it for the cheese to melt it's like almost instantly it's like you see so you have to so here are burgers on the George Foreman Evolve and that is all the grease and stuff that is not in it thankfully since you're doing it on here. So thank you for watching. If you have any requests of certain foods you want to see me do just leave it down below and I will do it make a video when I make that food. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.